Hello, welcome to Whispering Pines Farms YouTube channel. My name is Jennifer Johnson and I raise Shetland sheep for their wool. This video is me skirting a rude fleece from a ewe in our flock that technically is a lamb. She was a lamb when this fleece was harvested. She was just under one year old. So this video is uh, one in a series of a playlist that I have on my channel about the fleeces that we're going to be entering into our fleece auction in June. June 22nd is when the auction begins. So I'm going to be making a video of every fleece that's in the auction. So you got all the information that you need to make a well-informed decision about which fleece you need to <laughs> secure for your very own. Um, the uh, there's not a lot of skirting with a rude fleece. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to trying to figure out what's the part of the body with these rude fleeces. Um, on this one, this is Bristol. She's one of the AI lambs. So this is a lamb that we um, used artificial insemination using semen from rams in the UK. And she's one of Ilara's white ewes. She has a spinning fineness of 20.8. I was expecting to have not as fine with these lambs, as wool as what we have with our breeding. Um, the UK, they're not, they've even said this, they're not breeding for fleeces that are as fine as what we're working towards. But it's pretty good. So it'll be interesting to see how she holds that micron or average fiber diameter spinning fineness through the next few years. So we take samples of every one of our sheep in our flock and send it to Texas A&M to get micron tested so we can have data about the fiber diameter, which directly correlates to how soft the fiber is and how easy it is for you to wear it against your skin. I see one little spot over there on the other side where, I don't know how it would have happened, but I did grab a little bit of what I would consider slightly excessive for a fleece that I'm offering in the auction. A little bit more VM than what I like to see. So I'm gonna just take that off. I mean, you know, there's dirt on this fleece. It's a white fleece and it shows the dirt a lot better. But this is pretty good. That's, and I'm really tempted to just keep this and work on it myself, but I need white for my comb top. So what I do with all the skirtings is I collect them in five different color bags, black, white, gray, fawn, and moret, or brown. And then I send that to the mill to get made into comb top. Because not everybody likes raw fleeces, some people want to spin super fine Shetland in different forms. And comb top is the best form that I've, in my experience, comb top is the best type of prep for our soft Shetland wool. All right, so let's get a picture of Bristol's fleece. So in the video description, I'm going to have links to, oh, I just took a video. I'm going to have links to all of the, the listings. So in her video, there'll be a link to her auction listing and all these photos will be in there so you can, in the auction listing, so you can look at them and you know, just kind of try to make a decision. Good luck. <laughs> now I'm going to grab a staple, really nice length on Bristol's fleece. So I'm going to finagle this so that it's on the black paper so you can really see it. With the ruler and her name. It's a four inch staple. So that's one thing with the UK fleeces that I was expecting was a little bit longer staple length, which gets me higher yields. A longer staple on the same size body, I'm going to get more wool from that. So that's just great, and I like it. It looks really nice. One observation is that these, this, she's a little bit, she got britchy quicker than our genetics so whatever okay so now I'm going to take a photo of the back she I root her I root all of the um, AI lambs oh my goodness gracious me 
So both sides are going to look the same. I'm just going to take it in one side so I don't have to spend the time flipping. Just really nice. Very, very white. So her skirted fleece was 18, no, 23.2 ounces. Skirtings were 18.5, so that's good. I wanted to have, I wanted to make sure that the coated fleece is heavier than the skirtings is really all I'm shooting for. So I've got all my data here, and what I'll do with this card after I collect all the data, I'll put a Micron report on the back, and then I'll use this for reference for all sorts of stuff. Like, I have to do an, a video, a follow-up video on the AI lambs, because I have a whole playlist about the whole thing we went through. And I do want to make a video about them, so all this information will be really helpful. So this fleece will be going up for sale on the website. One of the things about working out here, this is the new addition of the barn. I get to hang with the sheep. So today is the day, if you're watching my lambing videos, today's the day they went out on the pasture for the first time. So they're tired and it's hot. I knew you'd be over there. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to roll this up and bag it up. And I'm not sure if you can see, but I got a shelf for my fleeces. So those are all the fleeces that I've skirted or, you know, weighed or whatever prepared for the auction. So that's the shelf. And it's getting bigger. Um, just wanted to mention too, all of our fleeces are coated. So when I talk about under the coat and outside of the coat, that's what I mean. We put coats on them to keep the main part of the fleece clean. I have a whole video about that. The source, I interviewed the guy that we source them from and talk about a lot of different things. So I have a link to the a blog post that I wrote about our coats and also a video where I interview the guy that makes them. This is really, I just, this piece I really love. Plus I'm excited because I've been struggling to get a white sheep in our flock, even though it's perplexing because it's the dominant pattern. Um, but just, so now we do have good white numbers, which I'm happy about. Good little experience for me right here with this you. All right, so we're going to put Bristol away up on the shelf. I don't really know how many fleeces I have quite just yet, but I will. scan of where we are right now. Should be enough for everybody that wants one, I hope. All right, well, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you can come back soon.